How to add a member to a Google site. Save both the bigcat.me site and the dashboard to your favorites. Log in with your username and password. Click on User. Then click Create User. Be sure that you spell the name correctly. The username will always be the first name dot last name. We use the same password for all of our new rescuers and this will be used consistently throughout all of the signups that you'll be doing. Now click on Groups and assign the new user into Trainees. Be sure to use the exact same spelling of first name dot last name and then click Add as Member. Sign out and then sign back in as the new user that you just created. Set up the new account. Go back to the main site and add the calendars. Keep going back to the main site and adding each new calendar one at a time. Click the plus Google button and then say yes, add this calendar. Go back to the main site, choose the next calendar Click the plus Google, say yes, and keep repeating this over and over until you've added all of the calendars in the list. We subscribe all of our new rescuers to all of the calendars so that they can see who their coordinators or their project leaders are going to be when they're there. The staff calendar only shows as busy, but at least they'll know when we have a lot of people on site or need extra help. You'll notice that all of the new calendars you created created a new page up here, so shut down all but one. Our calendars are all color coordinated so that the volunteer knows who will be on site that day as far as who the green shirts, yellow shirts, partners, etc. will be. You will need to set these colors for the new rescuer in advance. Go back to the main page, click Start here, and then scroll down to find the blog. Click View the blog. This is where you will have to create a new account for the same user using the exact same first dot last name at Big Cat Rescue. We use the same password as before. The nickname is the same first dot last name. If you don't know the birth date, just make one up, but make sure that they're over 18.
Then down here, click here to continue. Set the frequency to digest email so that they only get one email per day. You have to type something in the box and then click apply to this group. Now sign out as the new user and sign back in as the master. This time you'll need to use your full email address including the at bigcatrescue.org. Click Management Tasks and then approve the new user that you just created. Go back to the bigcat.me site back to the Start Here page and click on Log Hours. Sign into the FreshBooks account and click Team and then New Team Member, then Add Staff Member. Use the exact same spelling of the first name dot last name at bigcatrescue.org. Type in their first name and last name. Please assign a username and password, which will be their first dot last name, and the same password that we've been using throughout all of these setups. All new rescuers will be assigned to Volunteering Red Keeper down here at the bottom. Go back to bigcat.me and this time log back in as the master. Create an email to send to the new rescuer at their non-bigcatrescue.org email address. Go back to the bigcat.me site Go back to the Easy Start page and copy the entire page to your clipboard. And then paste it into your email. After that, go back and personalize it to the new rescuer. Send a copy to me so that I know it's been done. Hit send and you're done.